Um, before you watch the video, make sure to check the description for the crease pattern. I forgot to say it earlier, but yeah, make sure to check the description for the crease pattern. It'll just be easier, and yeah, okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, so today I actually um, am making a tutorial because with the COVID-19 virus around, I actually finally probably have a little bit of time. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make MHG's Camel Spider. So it's not a super, super hard model. Unfortunately, this when I folded it, it isn't as good as I like. So I do want to refold it, but also I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it. So yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. It's made from a 48 by 48 grid. Um, obviously box pleat crease pattern and of course got permission. So yeah, we're going to make that today. Okay, so the first things that we are going to be looking at today are, or the first things I want to look at is basically where we're going to draw lines. So if basically when we pre-crease, what we're going to be pre-creasing is all the diagonal lines and of course the grid. So it's just a 40 grid, grid nothing special. Um, and from judging from this, it's a pretty easy model because it doesn't have any middle flaps. And it doesn't have an, a, any of those really hard sort of um, sequencing things that a lot of other models have. So, yeah, it's going to be a pretty fun, easy model, I think. So, let's fold our 48 grid. Okay, so I finished the 48 by 48 grid after a couple months. So, we are going to start the pre-creasing right now. Um, again, it's a pretty easy model to pre-crease. There is no, like... 22.5 at all. It's all box pleat. Um, no weird divisions either. So you're not going to go two by one or something like that. It's all just one by one really easy box pleat. And I'm going to show you all of it. So the first one we can see it goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are going to fold up ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. And then I'm just gonna draw this this out because um, I don't really want to have to pre-crease it all. But I'm just gonna draw it, and then you guys can fold it. So the next one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just I'm gonna put the numbers of how many there is, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that should be three off like it is. Let's erase this real quick. Didn't erase. Okay. And then we go back up seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then down seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then up seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then down to the corner again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So pre-crease this, ten spaces up, seven down, seven up, seven down, seven up, ten down. Okay, uh, next we are going to do this part because it's easiest. Okay. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 down. Uh, I'll just keep it like that. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we go up 1, cross 1. And then up three, and then down three. One, two, three. Let me put that. Um, I can do this. Nine, one, one. Okay, and then up three, and then down one, up one. And then down three. And then up one, 
down one, up three, one, two, three, down one, up one, down three, up three, and then down three, and then again, it's just a repeat of this side. So nine, one, one, three, 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 one, one, three, one, one. And then the next part, we're just gonna pre-crease this. So that is just gonna be just one. So that one's pretty easy to pre-crease. Um, you can do this part if you want but I don't think it's too necessary. You can do that later when, after we finish, um, after we finish collapsing and shaping. Um, okay, next let's do this part. So this is going to be, um, that looks like it is, hmm. I think down one and across three, right? So one, one, two, three. I'm gonna see how this goes. I have no idea, hopefully it works, okay. Um, so yeah, down one, across three. That is where we're gonna start off, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Okay. And then next we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six and six. And then up two. Across up two. And then left three, so two, two, three, and then down two, um, one, and then three, up one, across two, up one, and then you're just going to connect it to this one. You don't have to be drawing these, you can just pre-crease them. I'm just drawing them so it's easier for you to see. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three. Um, okay, so there's that one. This one we are going to do is just right there. Wait, one sec. Uh, nope. So that is where, okay. So. Right here, go over one, that's where that's gonna be. So go three this way. And then until you reach the corner for this one. Right there. And then this one's just one, and then two, and then one, and then two. And then down seven. And then you go back up. So that one is going to be nine, seven, seven, two, two, three. Um, that's that one. And then you're just gonna repeat this on the other side. So if you want me to show again, I'll just do that. So again, down one, across three. And then you go meet to the corner, right there. Matches up. Seven this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down one. 
across two, down one, up three, up one, across two, and then down three, down two, across two, and then just make it meet the corner again. And this one should be six, seven, Oh wait, my bad. This one should be six, seven, uh, two, one, three, one, two, three, two, two. Um, and then this one's easy. So just go over one and place your dot there and then go all the way down and meet the corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then cross three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then make it meet this. Um, and that is pre-creasing. It is a super, super easy model to pre-crease. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll see you when I'm done pre-creasing this and then we're gonna collapse. Okay, I just finished pre-creasing the, um, I just finished pre-creasing all the lines. So we're going to jump into collapsing. Um, so the first thing we want to look at is, I think is most important, but normally when we do crease patterns, we usually start from the middle, right? And this one, you can easily see that we need to start from the middle, because there's just a big open spot right here. So this is going to be the shell of the model. So we're just going to start there, right? So we know that's going to be mountain. Oh, I guess there, it is a little bit hard, this crease pattern, mainly because it just doesn't have any mountain or valley, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. We can just sort of figure it out as we go. Anyways, so this is always going to stay flat on the top when we do this crease pattern. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, next, what should we do? Okay. Um, next what we're going to do, I'm just going to go from the outside here go from back to front. I think that's going to be the plan for this model. So, yeah, just sort of start folding in, I guess. It's been a long time since I folded this, so I don't remember how it goes exactly, but we're going to figure it out. So these are going to be two of the back legs, same with these. So make this like pointy right here. And then also this is going to be mountain all the way along. So I guess you can also proof crease that if you want to. Or just fold it. There we go. Okay. Um, so for this, I think we'll go back and Elias stretch these because that's pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to fold all the way through right now. So we're going to go back to those and then fit. Let's 
first just decrease this part first. Let's just decrease this part first. Okay. Next. Um, this is going to be pretty easy right here because there's nothing in the way. So just go all the way through with these creases. Uh, this is what it's looking like so far. Um, these are two legs, these are two legs, and then this is the middle part. Okay, so now we have pretty much the back ones done, except for this, so we'll just finish this real quick. Bit messy, but it's fine. Okay, so we got these all done. Next, we're going to move on to the middle, right? So, um, we're going to be switching here, right? Instead of just going vertical, we're going to start going hor Instead of going horizontal, we're going to start going vertical on these, right? And so, this one is a mountain crease, so these are going to be mountain. This is going to be valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. So that means this one right here is going to be a valley. Anyways, I'm just going to pull through this so you guys can watch and follow. Anyways, yeah, so... Um, this part's a bit interesting. So, we just did this part right here. So this is going to, uh, where did I put the pencil? Okay. 
So these are a bit weird, right? So these are gonna follow up all the way up to here. The lines aren't drawn, but they're sort of like, I don't know what to call them, but anyways, they shift upwards and they make this pop out. So it would be this one right here, right? So we're gonna get to this part on the other side. bit sloppy but it'll work. So now we're up to here. So this, these meet up in the middle. And push it upwards. Like that. Should have been on me, sorry. Okay, so we are right here. This is the first sort of like shifter. Anyways, so there are a couple more shifters next. That's why I'm gonna call them shifters. Anyways, so um, this is going to be the first one. Uh, this is going to be the second one. And this is going to be the third one. Um, fourth one and fifth one some will go down some will go up and then I think this is one two not sure anyways we'll figure it out okay so this is pretty straightforward it's just simple box plate stuff so you guys can watch and hold along Oh wait, going back. Never mind. Okay, so.
this is going to be mountain, 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 mountain. Right here, there's going to be one that's valley, valley, and then valley. This is going to be sort of the middle part of the shell. Um, and then there's just also just a big valley part. Anyways, so just wanted to clear that up. Okay. Um, here is an example of one of the valleys, right? So push it down like that. And then just do it on this side too. I don't want it to get all up. Okay. is goes up and then down and then up again again we're just going to keep folding through it pretty easy fold as we go along down right here, and then up again right after. It is just pretty repetitive, um, meticulous though.
sorry if it keeps going out of screen. This transition part is a bit hard, but you just have to sort of crease it in there. Um, this part is a little weird, right? So, you have this thing, where is it? Um, it would be right here. So, these are mountain, and then this is valley. And it sort of feeds into it. It looks complex, but it should, it just fits right in. Um, okay.
sorry if I'm just like folding and not talking at all. Um, okay, so yeah, I did that on both sides. Again, this part right here is going to be the middle of the model. Or actually, no, no, it's going to be another scale. Never mind. That's wrong. This part goes up here, right here, so it's going to be, I think, we're at this part right now. Okay, let's see. on the other side first. Okay. a little bit. Okay. Smush it in there a bit. This part right here, it should just fit into there, so don't worry about it. It looks a bit hard, but it's not too hard. I was right. This whole thing is pretty much just a, it's, it just goes down. Okay.
these last creases right here I'm ignoring right now, so we can just finish the main part of the body up. Anyways, um, so we completed the main body, now we're just going to move on to the head. This part's pretty easy, just fold through it, again mountain, mountain fold the edges and then everything should just fall into place. These are pretty easy to do. All they are, you just go like that, push that in, right? So not too hard. I don't know how to explain it though. Again, for this, just fold through it. Not too hard. You should be able to do it by yourself. But if there is anything tricky, we'll point it out. Or you can just watch me fold it. Um, this part right here is going to push up, so that's going to be this one right here. We are almost done with it, just 
putting together some final things. Let's see. Um, just gonna Okay, so final pre-crease model looks like this. Our final collapsed model looks like this, right? Um, anyways, so for the next part of the video, shaping, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna shape the entire thing because that would take me way too long, but what I'm going to do is give you little tips for shaping and what I did and what part of the spider each things are. Um, and also, I'm not going to end up finishing or shaping this spider, mainly because I'd rather do it with other models. But what I'm probably going to end up doing is probably giving it away in a giveaway, so one of you guys can probably end up shaping it. Anyways, so that is the collapsed base. And next I'm going to show you some tips you probably will need in shaping the model. Okay. Okay, so last part of the video is shaping, right? Again, I'm not going to shape this model because it would take me way too long. Collapsing took 35 minutes and pre-creasing took about 10 minutes. So shaping will probably take me upwards of an hour and a half. Um, but what I will do is show you the little things you will need for shaping, right? The legs are pretty straightforward. You can either... Um, make them like this. I don't really like this way I did. Anyways, for legs, what you want to do is try and make them as thin as possible. We'll look up a picture of the model online, or just look up a picture of the actual bug, and then make the legs small, and then shape them how it looks. Right? And then I would use glue for all of it, so then it sticks together, like glue in the cracks and stuff like that and also so it'll stick and it'll get smaller. Um, you're also gonna wanna glue this part right here. Um, okay, so the legs are pretty straightforward. Again, all you do is just glue them and then make them small and then shape them. The hardest part I would say about this is the shell. Cause if we look at this, right, um, this is only two, however you need to get it up to four. So what you're gonna have to do for this one is just simply pull out, uh, pull out little pieces in here, right? So it's pretty hard to show, but it's basically gonna be like that. And then you're gonna shape it and do whatever you want to it. Um, yeah, just shape it to taste and pull it out however much you want. And yeah, that's pretty straightforward. The shell, harder, but you can still do it. Um, okay, the next part is, let me see, um, okay, so this middle piece right here, it doesn't, it's not actually in here, you sort of have to make it yourself, but let's see, how do you do it? So what it's going to be is, let me check, um, so, So you are going to sort of make the shell a bit smaller, right? So what I would do, oh wait, no, no, never mind. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is, let's count all the pleats on the back, right? So this is one, that one, two, three, four. Um, wait, wait a second. So what, what you're going to do for the last one is you're going to essentially squash it like that. So, yeah. So the last one you're going to squash, and then for this, 
they're going to move it over one in here. So then it's a bit smaller of a shell, and then I think fold it down like that. So yeah, move it over and then fold it down. So it ends up being something like, I don't know, something like this. You're probably, you're going to have to experiment on your own though. Um, yeah, okay. The head is pretty easy as well. Um, it looks like right here that I did, I moved it back a little bit more so I could get the pleat like shown in the photo of the model. Again, you're gonna have to experiment with this because I have no idea, I don't remember how I did it. Um, so this part right here, you're gonna have, you can do whatever you want with it. I just sort of put it back there, didn't do anything with it. Um, these are the teeth of the spider. So there's the bottom, these two are the bottom two, these are the top ones, and they have this little thing that you can shape and make it pointy. Yeah, and then all the rest of the flaps are just legs. Again, oh, these two are front pincers. What I did with these, I made them more box shaped, pretty much like all the other legs, but you can make them as thin as you want and try to add like two joints like I did. Um, that's how I've seen most of them done. Again, you can look up the model and see all the different folds of it and shape it however you like. Um, okay, so again, all the legs, just shape them however you like. Pleats in the back, um, pull them out, you're going to have to experiment those on your own. Um, this middle part, you're also going to have to experiment it with experiment with it a little bit. And then the head is pretty straightforward. You've got the teeth, a little sharp, also more teeth. And then this part, open it up a little bit when you're finished. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, again, I am going to eventually give this away in a giveaway or something because I'm not going to shape it. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to do a giveaway, probably... Sometime soon, I don't know, maybe when we reach 200 or 250 subs, I don't know. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't too detailed or straightforward, I'd say. You sort of just watched me fold. Um, but hopefully you followed along and were able to get it up to the finish point. Again, um, if you sped forward or something, there I did leave a link of the PDF of the crease pattern in the description so check that out anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and if you have any other video ideas leave them down in the comments below anyways see you guys later